I have been told that I am a collector of experiences, and I would say that that pretty much sums me up. Instinct is my relationship to art. And often, of course, when I know the, the real meaning of the painting, it will mean so much more or teach me so much more, but instinct is my relationship to art. Some of my favorite experiences of looking at works is when I realize whatever memory it may bring to me. For example, seeing the Liufan Museum in Naoshima is one of my all-time favorite memories. And you know, this idea of travel and art pilgrimages is you know, something I have totally signed up for. Lynette, for me, is also an experience. Poetic, but you can feel empathy when she's drawing. And I know that the subjects are often not real people. Uh, they are visions that, they, that she had. But still, I feel empathy when I look at those images. I also love that she's such an amazing philanthropist in London. She sits on major museum boards. She you know, is a really active member of the community. I think what is interesting as well is to have this component of Middle Eastern individuals who then moved to other areas, such as, for example, Munir Farman Farmayan. The work speaks a lot to me and this idea of exile and space and resilience and how as humans we rise. And the blending of cultures. I mean, she was somebody who was able to really illustrate you know, very traditional Islamic uh, geometry and mathematics, but through the prism of her work and exposed it to an audience that really had not understood that before. I created the foundation that bears my name six years ago, and Fantasia is the first project. Fantasia is a collective where we create a channel for artists and professionals that are out there working right now to unite forces with curriculum developing experts and create material that is vibrant, that is of today. So we're very, very lucky that a few beautiful pieces will benefit entirely Fantasia. We you know, thought about this and was like, well, who are we going to ask? How do we find these special pieces for the charity section? You know, working with the incredible team at Sotheby's, we were able to really target artists who have been friends to us and individuals who have been really important parts of our lives. We have an incredible work by Bassem Magdi, who, I mean, I think Elisa and I, when we got that email, he's just, his heart in words. His reply was um, very touching. Yeah. We also have, both of us, a connection with Youssef Nabil. Youssef is also one of the first artists who came for a workshop in Luxor. I was very touched that uh, he accepted to be a part of this. Art is one of the tools that we use to develop and strengthen those life skills because art creates a space where there is no right and wrong. And so it creates a space where you have allow yourself what we call creative risk, that you can dare because no one is going to judge in our context, right? Oh, this is right or wrong. And that freedom creates the spectrum of possibilities. 